Hello and welcome to Matebox Aerial Images. Today there's not that much flying as you can see at the desk. It's just an empty desk, so what is it all about? It's about my little favorite mini quad at the moment who got totally converted. The Taro 250 through the machine. Let's get together what we need to do this. We first of all got the quadcopter itself with all its uh, components and we want to carry it uh, Xiaomi Yi action cam. Further we need uh, some power. Now you can see by the components it's not that light racing quad anymore. It's more like a heavy piece of shit. Yeah, but enough of the theory. Let's have a look at how it looks later on. There you go. What do we have? First of all we have the stock props. The 50 by 45 tree blade and they are awesome. Combined with the motors, 1806 motors, 2300 kV, and uh, what do we have more? Yeah, of course, this awesome little atom. Small ESCs, I guess uh, 18 amps, nothing special, but they work fine. Need some LEDs, pretty common, I guess, and uh, D4R2. So, that's it, to so the components, um, we can get this, these are low cost components. Um, this is my first mini racing quad and uh, after I got new plans I just decided to reconvert it to something else. As I mentioned before, we do want to have an action cam like thing in the front and, and as you can see I just did some weight in the back just to don't let it tilt over all the time. Yeah. Basically, that's it. In the front of the mini quad, you see I've just modded some things like this because the carbon plate holder didn't just uh, <clears throat> survive my first attempts. So I decided instead of just skipping over to the next fine carbon plate, which again will get smashed, I just uh, took plywood and I took a Dremel and just made a little hollow shaft in here. So you just can put it on, took some uh, cable ties, uh, zip ties and just uh, smashed it together. Then we got these, just to hold the camera. Against all the jello and the wobbling I just decided to put some uh, velcro here and some old mouse pie that I just split it off. And so I can put this pad here, which again takes my G and holds it pretty fine and tight. We'll see that video later. So, that's it. What the fuck? Yeah, I got no memory card. She's complaining all the time. But she does her job pretty well. Oh, as you see, it's pretty in, in weight. A bit nose heavy. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There she flies. But she's that twitchy that it's as a mess, a real mess. Did several test flights, nothing really did work out for me. So I began to tweak the settings. Before I actually started, I was looking in the internet for someone uh, who maybe had the same idea and had some good settings in stock. But finding someone like that is just not possible. Different props, motors, setups, flight controllers, everything is a mess. Finally then I began the trial and error journey, which got me here. Looks pretty good by now, but it's not that 100% yet, you'll notice the ugly wobble on the pitch axis. We need to take care of that because else every video will look crap. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. I configured my Tyrannus to hold two flight modes, just to be able to switch between cam Camera mode and normal. normal. Within the Open Pilot, these are mapped to settings bank 1 and 2. Finally, these are my current settings. You can use them as a starting point, but don't take them for 100% or granted. There are some things though you need to be aware of while doing this. With all that weight on the nose, she's pretty unhappy with fast turns. You see this in this crash, so don't do that to her or she'll go down like water in the sink. Are we good? <laughs> yeah, we're good. But then again, if you fly her reasonable, she'll be airborne for 9.5 minutes with one battery. Time to start up. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Should we get that right?
I guess this is pretty much it for now. If you like this episode or some of the others, don't hesitate to just hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.